Now we will highlight the assembly of a Unicam connector on 900 micron tight buffered fiber using the 62.5 micron Unicam MTRJ connector. We will demonstrate the assembly using the TKT Unicam Elite Toolkit. Complete assembly, including fiber preparation, takes less than two minutes. We will start by preparing the Unicam connector assembly tool for connector installation. In order to do this, we must assemble the different components necessary for the Continuity Test Set, or CTS. Start by connecting the ST-compatible side of the supplied ST-compatible to SC single-mode jumper to the VFL. Then connect the other end of this jumper to the input port of the supplied splitter. Then connect the SC duplex to MTRJ pinless jumper to the splitter box via the SC duplex connector. Upon completion of this setup, you are now ready to terminate the Unicam MTRJ connector. Prepare the installation tool for use by moving the wrench handle to the upright or vertical position. Next, ensure that the connector carriage is oriented in the proper fashion for using the continuity test set. Take the Unicam connector package and inspect it to ensure that the connector fiber type matches the fiber type of the cable to be terminated. Due to the fiber stub within the Unicam connector, this must match in order to get the desired results. To remove the connector from the package, grasp the perforated edge and pull. After taking the Unicam connector from the package, remove and discard the rubber cap from the rear of the connector. Examine the connector to make sure it is in the open or uncammed position. On Unicam MTRJ connectors, the cam is in the open position when the rib on the cam is oriented 90 degrees from the latch. The connector will not fit into the tool unless it is in the uncammed position. The ferrule dust cap of the connector should be removed when terminating using the continuity test set. Insert the Unicam MTRJ connector into the wide side of the MTRJ CTS adapter. Pull the winged slide of the Unicam connector assembly tool back and insert the MTRJ CTS adapter and Unicam MTRJ connector into the assembly tool. Slowly allow the winged slide to retract toward the wrench handle and guide the lead-in tube of the connector into the tool. There may be some resistance at this point. Some minor adjustments of the connector body should allow the connector to snap into place. Note, the lead-in tube should rest on the crimp platform as shown when the connector is fully inserted into the tool. Do not attempt to force the connector into the tool. If it does not slide into the tool easily, check to make sure the wrench handle is up. The cam is in the open position and the latch is up. Feed the MTRJ pinless connector through the crimp handle and connect it to the narrow side of the supplied MTRJ CTS adapter. Turn the VFL on. If the connector is seated properly, then a red light should appear in the vicinity of the cam. This will be used for comparison later. Slide the 900 micron boot, small end first, down both fibers and out of the way. Using the supplied fiber stripping card or connector bag, measure and mark a 40 and a 51 millimeter mark from the end of both buffered fibers. The 51 millimeter mark will serve as a visual reference to ensure proper and equal fiber insertion depths. Remove the 900 micron buffering at the 40 millimeter mark on both fibers with the fiber stripping tool. Thanks to the use of Corning Cable Systems patented TB2 coating on tight buffered cables, the buffering is extremely easy to remove. By carefully pulling the buffering straight off, the chances of damaging or breaking the fiber during the stripping process are greatly reduced. Next, be sure to remove the 250 micron coating that rests beneath the 900 micron tight buffered layer on both fibers. If you fail to do this, then the cleaving tool will not successfully cleave the bare fiber and the connector will fail. Limit the number of passes with the stripping tool to one pass when stripping the 250 micron coating. Additional passes on the glass can cause excess abrasion of the fiber surface and could weaken the glass. Clean the bare fiber with two passes of an alcohol wipe. Be careful not to touch the fiber after cleaning it. We are now ready to load the fiber into the handler for cleaving. Select the blue dual fiber handler from the tool kit and load both fibers into the handler as shown. This should place approximately two millimeters of buffering protruding from the outside edge of the handler. Then close the handler doors and place the handler into the supplied FBC-012 cleaver. 
The correct placement of the handler into the cleaving tool is critical. This will determine the cleave length of the field fibers. Cleave length is critical to proper assembly of the Unicam connector. Fibers which are too short will not terminate properly, and fibers which are too long will not allow the proper amount of strain relief. Be sure to place the handler into the cleaver so that the end of each fiber buffering aligns with the edge of the left-hand elastomeric pad. The coating should lightly contact the pad's edge with no pressure required. Once the fibers are placed properly into the cleaver, slowly bring the cleaver handle down as far as it will go and release. A nice, smooth, slow cleave will aid in producing excellent in-face angles. Remove the cleaved fibers and discard properly. Carefully remove the handler from the cleaver and remove the fiber from the handler. Place both 900 micron fibers into the fiber index by depressing the release button on the fiber index. Make sure both fibers are fully seated between the rollers before releasing the button. While pulling both fibers through the rollers, carefully insert the cleaved fibers into the lead-in tubes of the connector. Try to prevent the tip of the field fibers from touching any of the hardware on the assembly tool or the lead-in tubes. It is very easy to damage the field fibers end faces. When inserting the fibers into the lead-in tubes of the connector, do not force the fibers forward if you feel resistance. This will break the field fibers, causing the connector to fail. If you feel resistance, back up and try again. When the fibers are fully seated, the buffer mark on both fibers should be within two millimeters of the back of the lead-in tubes. You should be able to feel the firm contact of the fibers touching. Once the fibers touch, do not reseat the fibers against the stubs. This may cause attenuation increases. Then give the directional bearings a quarter turn to put a small bow in both field fibers. The bows are important in helping to keep the field fibers and the fiber stubs touching. Rotate the wrench past 90 degrees to cam the connector. Inspect the area where the red light near the vicinity of the cam was observed earlier. This light should significantly dim but may not go out completely. If not, then uncam the connector and pull one or both field fibers back a couple of millimeters. Roll them in your fingers and then reseat the fibers. At this point, recam the connector. If the red light is still showing, then uncam the connector and pull the field fibers out. Recleave them and try again. Carefully flip the crimp handle 180 degrees until it contacts the crimp tubes. Push down firmly on the crimp handle to secure the 900 micron buffer. Do not be concerned with over crimping here. There is a positive stop on the crimp handle that will prevent the possibility of over crimping the lead-in tubes. Flip the crimp handle open. A flat impression should be visible on the crimp tubes. It is important that the connector is properly crimped to ensure that the specified amount of strain relief is achieved. To remove the connector from the installation tool, depress the release button on the fiber index and remove the fibers from the rollers. Pull back on the slider to release the connector and pull it straight out of the tool, using care not to pull on the fibers. Be sure to disconnect the Unicam connector from the CTS adapter. Replace the dust cap. Slide the boot into place over the connector. It is recommended to clean the connector prior to installation into the patch panel. This concludes our overview of Unicam connector termination. For any additional questions, please contact your sales representative or Corning Cable Systems at 1-800-743-2671.